friends, welcome back to my floss tube. This is floss tube number three, and my name is Becky. Um, so if you've watched my first two and you're coming back for the third one, thank you. And thank you for everybody for your kind comments. Um, if you're new here, this is a channel primarily about cross stitch. Sometimes I may show a few other uh, projects that I work on like scrapbooking, memory keeping, and things like that, but generally it's just cross stitch. And um, today I just have a few whips to show you. I don't have any finishes today. And I have a lot of haul, um, a lot. And um, fortunately, it looks like I've been shopping more than I've been stitching. So um, that's the fun of it though, right? So my first project that I wanna show you um, is my work on Sweetheart Hill. And it is by Plum Street Samplers. It's taken me a while to get here, but I'm finally starting to see an end, I do believe. Um, so the last time that I showed this to you, um, I just had the house outlined. So I've added the windows. I've um, started some of the color on it. I've filled in some more of the grass and I've done the couple here and a couple of the flowers. Um, so I just need to fill in the grass, the house, and then I have some more flowers to do and fill in. And I think I've said in my last video, I'm not gonna do the very bottom part where it says, I belong to you. Um, I look at all that white stitching and I'm just like, I don't, I don't wanna do all that white stitching. Um, so hopefully um, I can get some of this finished uh, this weekend and I'm ready to get it up and get it framed and hung up in my room. Oh, my next project, look at this pretty bag. I just got this one from Como Stitches a couple of weeks ago on one of her Friday night sales and it is so beautiful. Um, if you don't have any ba bags from Jess, you should. Uh, she does a wonderful job. Okay, so this next one is Grand Old Flag, and it's by Brenda Gervais, and I only have my working copy. Um, I forgot to go grab the chart, so I just want to show you. I've just started. Um, it's just the spool, um, so I am doing this um, with coloring cotton flosses, and I'm using... Bing Cherry. Uh, for the thread and then my wood spool is Nutcracker and then I'm also going to do the lady she's going to be in summer sky and then I've also pulled out presidential blue I like both of them um my mess is a floss or my floss is a mess sorry um so we'll see what I do with that and then I also have in here um just snowflake for my white so I think this is gonna be real pretty when it comes together. Um, I'm kind of late to the game on it, but it's so, so, so pretty. And the fabric I'm using is uh, 25 count barley by uh, Lori Holt. So I can't wait to get this one finished. It's real easy stitch so far. And of course it's just a lot of fill in with that one. So I do apologize if I'm shaking the table. Um, my next one is Sting uh, by Heartstring Samplery. So I think I might have started this one in my last video. And this is where I'm at so far. String down, sorry. I've got some of the flowers filled in. I've got one bee started. And so I'm gonna finish this one into a pillow and it's gonna be for my older daughter. Uh, she loves these and that's what she wants. The fabric that I put that on was 16 count Fresco Ada. Um, of course, I'm using my own colors, trying to stay close to the color um, that they have, but uh, again, just using my own colors. And for this one, it's just kind of a hodgepodge of everything. Um, I'm using Wild Berries by Classic Color Works and then uh, Tennessee Red Clay classic color works and then queen bee and um, eaves leaves so so far this is what I'm using so these are really pretty colors I can't wait to get started on float um, that's so cute I've seen Emily Moore stitching on it and it's just beautiful she's using all the colored colors and it's so so pretty Next is um, my hive rolls. I am doing the sow. And so I'm working on part two, uh, be sweet like honey. So this is the chart. 
Um, a lot of people are doing this. Um, I'm doing mine as separate pieces, and this is where I'm at so far with this one. Um, just be sweet. And I'm doing this on 25 count cloud um, by Lori Holt. So the colors in this are so wonderful. And I'm using the cold fours on this, I believe. All right, yeah. Okay. Believe that's it for my whips right now. Um, so I do want to show you a couple of projects that I've been working on, kitting up. I don't have them all completely ready yet, but I'm getting close. I had started uh, Plum Street Samplers, this I know but I didn't like my fabric. Um, so I got rid of it. And so I'm gonna start over. So I did a, a haul for fabric. You're about to see that. And I think that this is what I'm going to use. And then, so here's all my threads. They're so cute. Found this little thing at Hobby Lobby. It was on clearance for like 37 cents. And I thought, oh, that's perfect. Um, so the colors are so pretty. I know you've seen everybody working on this one, um, but I'll show you my fabric for it here in just a moment. Um, the next one is another Plum Street Samplers, and this one is Henpeck. And so I've started getting my colors together. I don't have all of them just yet. I'm using some classic color works and a couple of weeks, uh, weeks dye works. And so these are the colors that I'm going to be using. Just kind of picking as I go. And I think the fabric I just picked out for this is gonna be um, 16 count Ada. Um, ornate by Fortnite Fabrics. Um, I've had this one for a little while. I just couldn't figure out what I wanted to put on it. And when I was going through my drawer a while ago, I thought, you know, this may actually look really pretty with it. Um, so we'll see. We'll get a start on it and see if I like it or not. Let me pull my fabric up. I don't know. Um, if you have any ideas, suggestions, what do you think? I think I like it. It's always worth a shot, right? We can always undo. All right. Throw this one in here. Oh, and there was my whiskey for the yellow on there. That was underneath. Next, I'm starting to kit up for Christmas, a Christmas project. This is in um, the Ashley case that I got from uh, Christine Sherman with Winding Rainbows. I got this last year. So pretty, I've never used it. I just absolutely love this. So this is so, so pretty. Okay. And so there's gonna be a sow coming along with this. And I love Christmas. This is absolutely the cutest thing ever. And so, I think I'm going to do it probably just on um, vintage country mocha, but I'm not sure. Um, started picking out some colors. Of course, you know, I use a lot of um, color and cotton and just classic dye works. So we'll kind of, um, that's a start. We'll pull more as we go. So, um, the other day, uh, Primrose Cottage had posted, um, you know, they post bundles all the time for finishing and stuff. So, I picked up the, the B bundle. And so, this is really cute. Um, this is for finishing. I'll take some of it out here and show you. You have to be quick to get their bundles sometimes because they sell out so fast. These are so pretty, though. You've got your ginghams, you've got black, white, there's hearts, there's polka dots. These are so pretty. And then here's some more uh, gingham dots and then a floral print, just pretty. So I'll be finishing my beehive, um, hive rolls with that. I also picked up some bee um, fabric at Hobby Lobby. I should have pulled it out and I didn't. Anyways, it's super cute too, very, very cute. Um, yesterday I was at Hobby Lobby with my daughter and I've been wanting to do some more project bags. It's been a while since I've made one, and I'm by far not not um, a guru at it by any means. But I picked up some fabrics, and I think 
either this afternoon or tomorrow, I'm gonna to try to do some bags. I forgot to get the zipper, so I gotta go back. But look at these fun summer colors. Aren't those just gorgeous? So those will make some fun project bags. Um, super cute. I'm not a fabric I own. You think I'd be a quilter, but I'm not. All right. Um, did get my coloring cotton monthly club in, and I'm in two clubs. I'm in the all colors. I get the five schemes, and so these are the colors that we got for this month. They are soprano, fortissimo. Um, reggae, that's really cute. Um, here is bluegrass, I like that color a lot. And then a ragtime. So again, that was the All Colors Five Skiing Club. And I also get the Five Skiing um, Bright and Variegated. I love this palette. Okay, we've got fishnets. That's a little bright, not sure what I'll do with it, but you know, um, Holly Jones had talked about maybe doing like a Lisa Frank palette on something. Obviously that would be wonderful. Uh, boom box, so, so cute. Oh, uh, this green, uh, voguing, voguing, I'm not sure. And then leg warmers, definitely an 80s palette, right? And then dance party. Oh, where did that come from? Dance party. Sorry, I've got the shakes, guys. And then while in, a couple weeks back, she had posted some grab bags. So I got a couple of those as well. And I have to say, I'm not disappointed at all um, in those. So my first grab bag Sorry for the crinkling. I got lemon tart, fruit cake, um, taffy, robin's egg, and parlor. So that was my first grab bag. My second grab bag was uh, storm clouds, primitive vibes, Bombay. Uh, brass, and then Ash Plum. So those are pretty muted colors, I think. Um, I was also in the process of building up my um, floss. So I ordered the Weeks Dye Works um, Spring Floss Pack from Fat Quarter Shop. I mean, you're placing an order, so you might as well, right? Um, so these are the colors that were in there. Cute. I'll see if I can just keep dropping everything. So, got some real pretty colors. Um, and in that was Grits, uh, Moon Glow, Chablis, Capri, Island Breeze, Hunter Emerald, Sally Sunshine, Squash, Daylily, Aztec Red, Liberty, MS Pink, Lilac, and Oil Cloth. So, I think that's a pretty good pack. And then I got my floss in um, for, it's a floss pack for a Stitcher's Garden by Tiny Modernist. Um, so I'll start working on that. I know that the sale has already started. Um, so Holly Jones, Mrs. Jones Stitches had picked out this color palette for them. And um, she's wonderful at that. So, so, so pretty. All right, so that's it for my floss. So now we're to some um, patterns. Totally went blank, oh my gosh. Um, so the first one I got is Plum Street Samplers uh, Rack Stack. Um, that's really cute, take it out. 
crack stack. So I thought that was cute. So I'll work on that one soon. Not not starting it any anytime soon, but soon. I got Tulip and Lily. It's a garden club series and it's by Blackbird Designs. Super cute. And this is by Tra La La. I saw Nettie uh, from Primrose Cottage. She was working on this and it's adorable. I'm not really into mice, but that is so cute. So I want to brighten that up a little bit and it'll hang here in my craft room. Um, another Plum Street Samplers that I got was Labor of Learning. Um, it says, Labor of Learning Before You Grow Old For It. It's better than silver and gold. Plum Street Samplers has always got some cute patterns. So I really like that. Another one I got by Blackbird Designs is Tis Halloween. It's got 13 stockings and projects to stitch. Um, so I had seen, it's been a while ago, it was last year, I believe, um, the 911 stitcher had uh, done a, a stocking and had it done. It had like beads for the hoop on it. It was so stinking adorable. Um, they've got some really cute things in here though. I'll show you a couple. So the candy corn stocking. Just some polka dots. That's fun. The jack o' lantern. So cute. Get some of these done and up on a tree. It would be so cute. Uh, this is like a Quaker light. treat so I don't know don't know what to do first but there's some really cute ones in here so we'll see what comes of that um, another one that I got uh, this is by Brenda Gervais and it's Indigo Lane and so what I'm thinking about doing here um, is doing this and putting it in my bedroom and then I want to do the ones by um, Salt and Pepper Stitching, um, her Faith ones, I want to do those in blue because they're just monochromatic and I think just put those with this, it would be so cute in my room. Just kind of start a wall in there. Um, I also ordered Holiday Hoopla Easter by Brenda Gervais and so I'll do this for next Easter. So cute. Uh, the Tiny Modernist, um, I got Stitching Men's, uh, Stitching Men's The Soul. Yes, yes it is. So that's real cute. I love the colors in there. The brighter, the better, right? Um, and then this is a, a Pretty in Pink Pen Keep. It's by Stacy Nash. Uh, so this will be my first um, project by her that I'm doing, but this house is so cute. These colors, the reds and pinks, right up my alley. So I'm gonna work on that. Um, and I got a red cottage. Um, this is by Paulette Stewart, Plum Street Samplers. So, what is this one? 2013. Um, but I saw this and I thought, this is really pretty. That house is pretty. Sorry for the glare, guys. That's cute. And then another one that I got was Barbara Anna Designs. This is so cute. You probably just hurt my chicken outside. Um, my rooster. And uh, this is Cockadoodle Doo. This is so cute. So that's going to be a fun one to do. And then I got Spring Village by Nikki's Creations. I'm going to have to blow this one up. The pattern is like really small to me, and of course, there's no color in it. Um, but this is real cute. So there's that. So that's it for my patterns. Um, I've got a lot of fabric. Found a couple more skeins of floss. This is grapefruit and cantaloupe by Weeks Dye Works. Look at that, I'm my shirt. 
so cute. All right, so I ordered some more vintage cloth. Uh, this is the 25 count Lugana um, by Lori Holt. Got another pack of that. This I got from, this is, I believe I ordered this from Fat Porter Shop, and this is a 16 count Ada. It's Kunzai, and it's by Fiber on the Whim. It's a purple color, and I'm really not a purple person, but this is really pretty, so pretty. Um, another one that I had ordered is a 16 count um, Ada, Fiber on the Whim, and it's Stream. That blue is real pretty. And then um, Angela from Happy Little Stitch Shop had posted that she had gotten in a um, pretty good shipment of Legacy Fiber Arts. So I ordered a few from her. Uh, this first one is 16 count Ada Nor'easter. And so it's got a lot of modeling on it. It's really pretty. So I like that. This one is 16 count Ada and it's Millstone uh, Legacy Fiber Arts. got a little, a little more green than I was thinking. Um, I don't really know if it shows through in the video very much, but it is a little more green. And the next one is, this one is 14 count Ada, and it's New England Gray uh, by Legacy Fiber Arts. So, it's a pretty color. This one um, is 14 count Ada, it's Boston Tea Party. I really liked it in the picture in person. I don't know if I really do or not, um, but we'll try it on something and see how that goes. Okay. This other one is 14 count Ada and it's pop over. It's a lighter neutral. And then I got these. I had ordered um, some patterns from, what is it? Uh, Kingsland Needle Art um, on Etsy. And that's where I got quite a few of those patterns from. And so I had ordered some fabric from her as well. This is from Fortnite and it's a blast from the past and it's 18 count Ada. So, that's pretty. Okay, and then this one I think is probably my favorite and it's a Fortnite fabric and it's 18 count Ada and it is called Enticing. And I'm thinking that this is what I'm going to do for, I'm going to use for uh, This I Know by Plum Street Samplers. I think I'm gonna do it on this one. Um, and then lastly, this is a Seraphim Fabrics and it's called Rustic Charm. And I don't think I'm gonna keep this. I'll probably try to sell it on Stash Unload or something because this is way darker than um, the listing had showed it to be. And um, I even went back and checked after I got it, but this is like really dark. It is a true rust color. Um, the fabric is so soft though. I really do like the feel of it, but I just don't know what I put on it. Um, I may keep it and go through my patterns and see if there's anything that may possibly fit it. Um, but I don't know, if not, I'll just post it on a Stash Unload and we'll go from there. I also like to order all these little pieces from 123 um, Stitch. Um, they're just great for different little things that you wanna do. Um, I have gotten a couple pieces of like 25 count um, vintage country mocha. Mm, that's that. Uh, 25 count Stormy Night Lugana. Just nice little pieces to do a pattern on. They're already, the edges are singed. You can try it to see if you like it or not. Um, again, another purple piece. I'll probably use this for Halloween. It's a 16 count Whimsy. Let's see who this is by. It does not. Um, here's a gray one I got. Um, and then I got this pink. I've done this for something else. So I ordered me another piece because I do like it. And it's 14 count Ada and it's Cherub. The color is Cherub. This is really cute. Just a little pink and white. Um, and then just some other neutral colors. And then I got one, it's blue and it's called um, Vintage Blue Whisper. It's an eighth of a yard. So some 4th of July or something on there. It's a little more stiff. 
And then lastly this morning, well, yesterday, yesterday and this morning, my daughter and I went to some a couple of garage sales here in the city. And so I picked up some picture frames for a dollar because, you know, you can just never really have too many. I thought these are really cute for some finishing pieces. Um, cheap and for a buck. You know, you can just never, never go wrong. I really like this one. And so, um, yeah, just picked up a few of those and uh, throw some projects in them for some easy finishes. Um, other than that, that's really all of my haul. I know that was quite a bit. I think I do have some other picture frames that I've picked up here and there for pieces that I do have that I want to work on. Um, and then I did notice as I was signing on to do this uh, floss tube that I saw the email come across from um, Annabella's. So I did get into the All Things um, All Things Autumn Retreat. Um, I think that's in October sometime. So I'm looking forward to that. I need to go on and pay and uh, get all the details for that. Um, but if you make it this far, I want to thank you uh, for staying with me today and for looking at everything that I've got. And happy stitching to all you out there. Uh, it's starting to be summertime and a lot of people are heading to their gardens and doing things outside. And so it's a wonderful time of year. So have a wonderful Saturday. Have a great weekend. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.